everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is rose and in today's recipe i will be showing you guys how to make the perfect seafood stuffed bell peppers yes you heard me this recipe is absolutely flavorful so so delicious i cannot wait for you guys to try this at home but before we begin i would like to ask you guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up for me if you enjoy it also subscribe if you're new here and let's get started All right guys, before you begin, start preheating your oven on 350. Here I have three bell peppers, nice and clean, ready to go. First thing I am going to be doing is cutting them straight in the middle. We are going to remove the core, just like so. Now to a baking dish, you are going to add in your bell peppers. We're going to bake these on 350 for about 10 minutes. If you guys want, you can boil it, but I like to bake them instead since I'm already using the oven. So I am going to be adding these into the oven. So now we're going to start working on the shrimp. I have about 16 ounce of shrimp here. I am going to cut them into small pieces. By the way, they're nice and clean and the vein ready to go for me. To a skillet, I am going to be adding two tablespoons of butter. I am going to allow that to melt. Once melted, I am going in with some red bell peppers, celery, onions. I'm going to saute these until they're nice and soft and translucent. Now I am going to be adding about 16 ounce of ground beef in there. We're going to allow the ground beef to cook until it's no longer pink. I am going in with some minced garlic. I like to add my minced garlic last because I don't want it to burn. I still like the raw flavor of the garlic in my food, even though we're going to bake this some more, but you guys already know how it is for me. I love me some garlic, period. <laughs> Now I am going to be adding in my Worcestershire sauce as well as the breadcrumbs. Okay, just give that a toss here and there. Make sure it's nice and mixed. And also I'm going to turn off the stove because I'm going to add the shrimp and as well as the crab. And you guys know it's going to bake in the oven so we don't want it to be 
you know overcook especially the shrimp so i'm going to add the shrimp in right now you can either season your shrimp before or after so i will season mine after and also i am going to be adding in the crab meat i am using about 16 ounce of crab meat okay it's all about 16 ounces today so we're going to add that in Ooh, look at that crab meat y'all gorgeous it's looking good oh my goodness yes ma'am so we're going to add all of that in there hopefully y'all can see what's going on in here and now is the perfect time for me to add my seasoning Ooh, just add that in add that in guys just don't be scared add that in and stir okay stir it all together yes ma'am and also i am going to drizzle a little bit of lemon juice in there you know seafood goes great with some lemon juice so yes it's looking good y'all it's giving what it's supposed to be giving oh, i yes. am going to be adding some lemon juice in there oh drop a seed so we're going to add the parmesan cheese in here oh yes oh yes it smells so 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 delicious already i cannot wait my mouth is literally watering right now and try not to over mix this okay guys so now let's grab the bell peppers in the oven here are the bell peppers nice and soft ready to go and i noticed there's some water inside them so i'm just going to remove the water i'm not sure if you guys can see it just remove it just like that no big deal now i am ready to stuff these babies so make sure you really stuff them okay guys if you want to add some cheese you can but i will add more cheese on top but i'm definitely going to stuff these anybody else love seafood my husband and i we love ourselves some seafood if we can eat seafood all day every day we'll do it I love seafood. As I'm looking right now, I still have some more crab meat left. So these will be going inside some green bell peppers because I don't have any more red. This is what we're working with so far. Next, I am going to be adding a little bit of paprika just for some color and as well as some cheese, not too much, just for some garnish, a little bit of razzle dazzle here and there. All right, guys. also going to be adding some dry parsley and we're going to bake this for about 10 to 15 minutes until we notice that the shrimp is nice and pink and it's looking good okay let's pop it in the oven we are about to make a sauce for the bell peppers because i need some sauce okay i am making like a cajun creole kick type of sauce it's very simple very easy so i am going to melt some butter mm -hmm. 
I added some garlic in there. Cook it for about 10 seconds. Then you are going in with some heavy cream, okay? This is very simple. Last minute, I wanted to make some sauce for this, so I'm going to add some heavy cream. It's a creamy Cajun sauce, okay? Next, I'm going to be adding some Cajun seasoning in there. I'm using McCormick for this recipe, as well as some Old Bay. Just measure it with your heart, okay? Give that a stir just like that. And also I want some color. So we're going to add some paprika. And that is our creamy sauce, just like that. Hey Google, stop. Looks like our bell peppers are ready. I can't wait. And our sauce is done, ready to go y'all. Here is our bell peppers. Oh my gosh. I know I told you guys I was going to bake this for 15 minutes. I went ahead and cook it for 20 minutes. Yes, because the shrimp wasn't looking like they were cooked. So now they look perfect. And I have that Creole kick sauce that I have here to add on top of them. Now I'm going to add the sauce. Just drizzle the sauce on top. Alright guys, finally I am ready to try this. I've been waiting for it all day. My stomach is growling, okay? And the aroma in my kitchen right now, mm, to die for. Let's give this a taste. Oh, it looks so good. Let's give it a try. Oh my god. Wow, wow, it's so yummy, so flavorful, guys. You will not get this at a restaurant, okay? So you better make it at home. Mm. When I tell you, my recipes are always on point. This one right here, another big hit it's so flavorful you have the shrimp you have the ground beef you have the crab meat if you're a seafood lover this is definitely for you anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe please don't forget to give it a thumbs up also if you're new here join the family by hitting the subscribe button also leave a comment down below if you're going to try this one have you tried this one before let me know down below because i am very curious to know also don't forget to stay safe happy new year i'll see you guys on the next recipe bye